हेलो डॉक्टर्स वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू ग्रो मेड दिस चैनल इज़ अ वन स्टॉप गाइड फॉर द एफ एम जी एस्पिरेंस सो सब्सक्राइब टू ग्रो मेड इफ़ यूर न्यू टू ग्रो मेड एंड टैप द बेल आइकॉन सो ये स्टडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द साइकैट्री द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स लाइक द स्किजोफ्रीनिया द एंटीसाइकोटिक डिजीज दैन द पर्सनैलिटी डिसऑर्डर्स हेल्यूसिनेशन डिल्यूशंस एंड द अदर बेसिक थिंग्स लाइक द ऑर्गेनिक एंड द फंक्शनल मेंटल डिसऑर्डर्स so today we will be learning about some other important topics mostly the previous year, previous year topics because you cannot miss these topics so we will first cover all of them and we will discuss about the least important topics i have already posted the part 1 video of this revision session so you can go and watch that video and also i have uploaded videos on the one liners asked from the psychiatry and the important topics which you must cover so do watch those videos also so today we will start our discussion from this sigmund freud psycho sexual stages of development so this also is a previous year topic so frequently questions are asked on this uh, from this table and this phallic phase this was asked uh, in the recent jan 24 and this oral phase this was asked in the 23 jan uh, June twenty three one okay so it becomes important to by heart this whole table so let's look so this table was given by the Sigmund Freud and it consists of these phases the oral phase anal phase phallic latent and the genital phase so the age the age where this phase occurs is zero to one point five years usually occurs in the children and the features are like the biting and the chewing of the fingers or putting things in the mouth and chewing them so by these things the child will be getting sexual pleasure and this uh, phase is called as the oral phase if fixation occurs at this uh, stage then the patient will be developing schizophrenia dependent depression or uh, can become alcoholic so the patient will be at a risk of developing these diseases then moving on to the anal phase it uh, presents in the age 1.5 to 3 years and uh the features will be like the trained toilet and if there is fixation uh, occurring at this phase then the patient will be having ocd and he will become stud born then in the phallic phase occurs in the 3 to 5 years and and the features uh, they are classified into the oipedes complexa and electra complexa that is the cast get frustration anxiety and the penis envy and if there is a defect in these then there will be fixation occurring and that will be called as the hysteria so this oipedes complex means that the male child he will be developing sexual feeling towards his mother and uh, electro complex means the female child she will be developing a uh, sexual feeling towards her father okay so if fixation occurs at this phase it will cause hysteria and along with that the neurosis okay then moving on a latent phase seen in 5 to 12 hours and the genital also more than 12 years so if there is fixation occurring in this phase then it will cause neurosis so the features seen here means the 5 to 12 uh, years in active sexual pleasure that means the sexual pleasure is absent in these children and these are more uh, targeted towards getting skills learning new things and the child focuses on his development okay and in more than 12 years than the genitals so this was the table given by the sigmund freud and i hope you have understood about these phases and what happens if there is fixation in the age phase then moving on we have already discussed about these things in the video part 1 video so watch that video then moving on so we will discuss about the mental retardation uh, only the classification because questions are asked that uh, the patient has mental uh, iq his iq is so and so and which category will he belong whether it is normal or mild moderate severe profound like that okay so if it is more than equal to 70 then it is considered as the normal this is about the iq okay then questions uh, are also asked on the formula of the iq that is the mental age divided by the chronological age into the hundred okay so this is the formula for the uh, 
calculating the IQ and after calculating this the child will fall into certain categories we will call it mild if it is 69 to 50 then moderate 49 to 35 severe 34 to 20 and profound if less than 20 and the other words given to this are earlier this was used this classification was used like idiot means 0 to 24 imbecile 25 to 49 and moron 50 to 69 so question can be asked this also this also so you need to remember the both values so let's discuss some other important one-liners from the mental retardation that the most common chromosomal cause of the mental retardation it is the down syndrome and the second most common cause is the fragile x syndrome then these are some one-liners here most common psychiatric disorder and it is the anxiety then second most common is the depression now collapse is seen due to abnormal functioning of the hypothalamus and most common complication of the ocd is the depression so these are all previous year questions then next we will discuss about some important drugs and their and their side effects uh, my notes are written a little clumsy because I have not written it in a systemic way. I have made the things here and there. So sorry for it guys. Uh, so we will discuss some important things from the antipsychotics. So one-liners are usually asked like which of the following is the longest acting antipsychotic and the answer is the belperidone. Then antidepressant which has depressant action it is the flu penthi flupenthazole then antipsychotic with least extrapyramidal side effects respiridone so this was a pyq then the least potent antipsychotic it is the chlorpromazine then least hypotensive and antiemetic molinidone then there are another two diseases uh, drugs from which the questions are asked on its side effect and also let's look at them cannabinis it's so it is the most illegal drug most common illegal drug and it is most commonly available available very easily the other forms of the cannabinoids are the charas ganja and marujina so questions can also be asked like uh, instead of cannabinoids they can ask charas or ganja so you need to remember the other names also then the active form of the cannabinoids is the 9 tetrahydrofolate 9 tetrahydrocannabinase then effects of this cannabinase are euphoria and midriasis then syn synesthesia which is the reflex hallucination as we had discussed yesterday that it is the crossing of the senses that means uh, there is stimulation of one senses like for example ear is stimulated and this will provoke the eye okay so like that these hallucinations are called as a reflex hallucination then alter consciousness state of dreaminess so this was a previous year question that which of the following drug abuse presents with state of dreaminess okay or there was a clinical case describing that a patient had uh, ingested some drug and he was uh, presented with these effects so which is the drug so it will be the cannabinoids then on long term use we can see physical dependence with the cannabinoids so these were some uh, important things asked from the cannabinoids then moving on uh, this lithium this is also a very important topic because frequently questions are asked so this is a mode stabilizer drug and usually used to treat the mania so this drug has a narrow therapeutic index due to which uh, this need to be monitored and this is not used very commonly as it is uh, toxic then the T half is 1.3 days and the plasma concentration is achieved after 4 days. So this is not necessary because uh, it was just an extra point. Then uh, questions are asked on this. Uh, therapeutic levels required for it to show its action is the 0 0.8 to 0 0.1 milliequivalent per liter. And for toxicity it should exceed the level uh, more than 1.5. So if it goes more than 1.5 milliequivalent then toxicity can be seen and whenever there is toxicity we will be doing the dialysis. So all these questions are the previous year question. This is a previous year question. This is the PYQ. Then this mood stabilizer. This is a PYQ. So all these are the PYQs from the lithium. So it is a must 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 do topic.
so there was a clinical case also asked that a patient was having mood uh, mania and he was given this lithium and but still his symptoms did not improve and when we had done the uh, testing then we the levels of the lithium was like 0.5 milli equivalent so what is the next step in the management so the options were like either you need to increase the dose or you need to stop it and change the lithium to other some other drug or you need to reduce the dose something like this and the option was you need to increase the dose because the therapeutic level is 0.5 to 0.1 so if the drug is in between these values then only it will show its action so till 1.2 milli equivalent per liter you can easily increase the dose and if it exceeds then you need to stop it and then shift to other drug now let's look at the side effects it acts on various organs giving wide variety of symptoms like in case of cns it gives tremors which are fine and coarse tremors and in endocrinology it will be acting on the thyroid and causes hypothyroidism git causes nausea and vomiting and in the renal causes secondary uh, diabetes insipidus and treatment is done by the thiazide then skin it causes folliculitis and it is teratogenic causes epstein anomaly so this is also a pyq so most of them already would have heard about this epstein anomaly and the image based question can also be asked on this epstein anomaly then moving on we have discussed all these things now we will see about this halluci hallucinogens so the hallucinogens these are most commonly used in the rave parties and these causes bad trip bad trip means whenever they are taken it will cause that is it causes most severe symptoms that the patient will uh, not take it again for a few days so there will be a gap and this is also called as a vacation method okay and uh, then there is no physical dependence or the psychological dependence seen with these hallucinogens and the examples are the lsd then psilocybin and mescaline so this uh, lsd this was asked multiple times that which of the following drug causes bad trip or which of, which of the following drug is used as a hallucinogen then this one rtms this is the repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation and this is done for various diseases like the depression uh, if schizophrenia with positive symptoms and the ocd then this persistent possessive disorder this is also a pyq and it is a combination of depression along with that the dysthermia dysthermia will be the mild but it is the last long lasting form of the depression so this pyq was asked that persistent depressive disorders consist of which of the following then three treatment modality with the anti suicidal property so these are the electroconvulsive therapy then clozapine and lithium so whenever a patient is having suicidal thoughts and whenever they are trying to take the suicides then we can give them these three treatment so that they will not commit suicide now let's discuss about some uh, other important disorders from the psychiatry so questions i have done this based on the questions asked so usually clinical cases are asked and they will uh, features will be described in the question and they will ask you to make the diagnosis so let's look at them if a patient presents with sweating chest pain shortness of breath palpitation anxiety then feeling of impending doom and autonomic symptoms will be present like the palpitation and shortness of breath so these all are the autonomic symptoms right so if these are increased and it presents for a short period of time then it is called as the panic attack and how will you treat the panic attack we will be treating it by the benzodiazepine ssri and the cbt and this panic attack is also called as the acute episode of the severe anxiety so these all are the anxiety disorders then moving on mania so if a patient is having mania then he will be having increase in the energy highly talkativeness decrease need for the sleep and the patient will be hyperactive then we will say that the patient is suffering from mania and if it the patient is suffering from mania and along with that in between uh, there will be attacks of the depression then it is called as the bipolar disease and for the treatment of the mania as we had uh, 
discussed earlier that we will be using the lithium then other uh, drugs like the antipsychotic drugs respiridone or olanzapine valproate and the carbamazepine are also used and if it is bipolar then the patient will be having two components right the mania and then the uh, depression so we will be giving in combination either the antidepressive drugs and the uh, mood stabilizer drugs okay then moving on uh, so depression if the clinical case is asked of the depression then the features like the low mood lack sleep suicidal thought decrease weight decrease energy can be seen we have already discussed about the depression in the first video so do watch that video for all the things regarding this depression then moving on if in the clinical case they are described like history of trauma like road traffic accident then fear anxiety flashbacks dream of the incidents then it will be post traumatic stress disorder and treatment is the cbt and if uh, in the question these features are described like the excessive worry for more than 6 months so do look at the uh, time period because it is for more time then feeling of the nervousness trembling palpitation dizziness sweating that will be called as a generalized anxiety disorder so these were some anxiety disorders uh, like the panic attack then post traumatic stress then generalized anxiety disorder so usually clinical cases only are asked on these then moving on to another very important topic that is the symptoms of the alcohol withdrawal so whenever a patient will be uh, not taking alcohol for a lot long period of time then he will de develop these features and based on the time duration we can see different features like 6 to 8 hours it will be tremors and it will be like increase in the blood pressure pulse rate heart rate nausea and vomiting okay so these things can be seen from 6 to 8 hours then 8 to 12 hours hallucinations can be seen and usually auditory hallucination then if it is 24 to 48 hours then seizures generalized tonic clonic seizures and drug of choice is the benzodiazepine then 48 to 72 hours it is delirium tremens this is asked multiple times delirium tremens okay and it is the most severe form so clinical cases can be described that a patient he did not consume alcohol for so and so hours now he presents to the clinic uh, to the emergency with so and so symptoms so which of the following will be the cause or what has the patient developed okay then moving on let's discuss another important topic from this alcohol that alcohol causes two important psychiatric disorders one is the wernicke's encephalopathy and another one is the koroskoff syndrome okay so these two things are asked in relation with the most of the subjects like the biochemistry then in medicine in surgery then in psychiatry also so it is a must 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 to do topic so wernicke's encephalopathy occurs due to deficiency of the thiamine vitamin b1 deficiency and uh, presented with the features like global confusion of thalmoplegia and ataxia which can be remembered as goa global confusion of thalmoplegia and ataxia and if at all the patient is having wernicke's encephalopathy then treatment is by giving the thymine iv and along with that the lorazepam so as we have seen here thymine injection and the lorazepam okay then Kor koroskoff syndrome it is a chronic complication and there will be development of the amnesia and retrograde amnesia and confabulations that means the patient will be forgetting the things so he will make false stories to fill the memory gaps okay so for the treatment of the korsakoffs also we will be using the thymine that is the vitamin b1 so for the alcohol withdrawal the drug of choice is the benzodiazepines and we can also use chlorodiazepoxide also questions are asked on the alcohol de addiction like the disulfiram like reaction so these points you need to read it from the pharmacology as they are covered well in the pharma so these were the things which you must remember from the alcohol withdrawal now moving on 
this reversible causes of the dementia so this one is also a pyq and questions are asked on the dementia so causes so it is vitamin deficiencies like the b12 b1 and the b3 hypothyroidism depression hiv infection alcohol abuse wilson's disease and this subdural hemorrhage brain tumor and hydrocephalus these are also reversible causes but these are the surgical reversible causes okay just you need to buy hard these things i mean mug up these things then moving on so questions are also asked on the classification like the snr ssr the antidepressant drugs so you need to remember the name so they can ask that this venlafin and desvenlafin multiple times it is asked that uh, this drugs belongs to which category which of the following is the snr which of the following is the ssr then close up pain so close up pain is a d4 blocker more than the d2 and most common side effect is the sedation and it has maximum weight gain treatment of choice for the resistance schizophrenia and tradiv dyskinesia it has anti suicidal properties and it has very serious side effect that it is a granulocytosis due then the other side effects are the seizures and the myocarditis so as we had heard earlier also that it is an atypical antipsychotic and it is used for the resistance schizophrenia then moving on these are the drugs mood stabilizer drugs which are used in the bipolar disorder so valproate lithium carbamazepine oxcarbamazepine so these are all things the classification of the drugs mainly do it from the uh, pharmacology but still we will discuss some important one liners asked from the each drug like the lithium it is used for the prophylaxis of the bipolar disorder then cognitive behavioral therapy used in anxiety depression and panic attack donazepam is the drug of choice for the alzheimer's disease then fluoxetine used for ocd this is also a pyq while provide mood stabilizer modafinil drug of choice for narcolepsy and clean levine syndrome so these both are the sleep disorders clean levine syndrome means it is present with the triad which is also called as the sleeping beauty syndrome and it presents with the hypersomnia that is increased sleep then hyperphagia and hypersexuality okay so this is a triad of this clean levine syndrome and like western narcolepsy it is also a sleep disorder and in which there is the reduced latency of the rem sleep features seen in this narcolepsy are cataplexy cataplexy sudden a loss of the muscle tone then sleep attacks sleep paralysis so these are the features seen with the narcolepsy and the drug of choice is the modafinil some other diseases related to the sleep so let's discuss them also the sleep cycle we have learned it in the physiology right the sleep cycle classified into the non rapid eye movement stages and rapid eye movement so classified into the 1 2 3 and 4 stages so there are various uh, diseases occurring in the each phase like in the rem it will be the night mare the patient will be having the nightmare active recall dreams okay the patient will be able to remember the dreams so questions are also asked on the uh, waves so you will learn it in the physiology the eeg the alpha wave then the beta wave then the theta and delta wave okay so now let's only discuss about the diseases uh, in the stage 2 bruxism is seen in stage 3 and 4 you can see sleep walking then sleep tremors and in children you can see a very important disease like the nocturnal enuresis so this nocturnal enuresis means the night bedwetting and this is a uh, normal till the 5 years of age if it goes beyond the 5 years then it will be considered as an abnormal and for the treatment uh, the treatment of choice is the bed alarm and the drug of choice is the desmopressin so these were some disorders related to the sleep cycle then moving on so the sildenafil it is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor and used in case of erectile dysfunction so the questions are asked on the most common cause of the erectile dysfunction and it is the psychogenic 
Then moving on premature ejaculation. So the treatment modalities used are the SSRI, then squeeze technique and soap and start technique. Then methylphenidate, it is a drug of choice for the ADHD, attention deficit, hyperactive disorder. Then the benzodiazepines used for the anxiety, behavioral therapy, usually phobias and like the fear of the dark, then fear of the animals, fear of the crowded places, for all those things, all those phobias, behavioral therapy is used. Then olanzapine, uh, schizophrenia, drug of choice for the schizophrenia, olanzapine. So that's all in this video. So we have discussed the remaining topics also from the psychiatry, like the, the anxiety disorders, the panic attack, then drugs the side effects of the drugs then this alcohol withdrawal then the substance abuses like the cannabinoids then hallucinogens okay so so that's all is enough for the psychiatry as very few questions are asked maximum five to six questions and if you have already watched the psychiatry videos and you've done it then no problem and if you do not have time now and you've not done uh, psychiatry at least once then now it's high time there is no need to see the RR video also, just uh, see the videos of the YouTube, the recall videos from the YouTube, like the recall of the FMG 2023, then the 22-21, so 3-4 years recall videos, if you watch them and solve the previous year uh, questions from the FMG solutions and re read their explanation, that one is enough for the psychiatry. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video will be useful to you all and it will help you in your preparation. All the best for your exam. Like the video, share this video with your friends and if you are new to Gromed then subscribe to Gromed. Thank you so much. Bye bye.